Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you what's on my Android device here, the Moto X Play. This is note cases, it's just like the back cover, it's really cool. I'm going to show you what's in my folders, what I use on a daily basis and some things, um, some apps that are really cool. And uh, if you want, uh, actually a top 5 Android apps of the month video every end of the month, hit that thumbs up button so I know and leave comments so um, to tell me if you're interested in that because um, I want to expand my content, get into tech more. Um, I've always wanted to get in tech and now I can. And so hope you guys do enjoy this video. Hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off by um, saying that I'm running on Nova Launcher, not Google Now Launcher. Um, Launcher is basically, uh, you know, enable some customization stuff. So maybe like you want to change the desktop grid or your icon packs or like how your app drawer looks like or your widgets and stuff like that. Or your dock or your folders or your or like the animation stuff like that you can set different animations really cool um so basically you can like go in here it's really cool i like nova launcher because it gives that stock android feel as well it gives you some customized customizability customize cu customability custom <laughs> i won't even say it um tasks here is basically it actually isn't called task actually called tick tick um I, well I, I just renamed it so it's shorter but here task is basically um uh, tick tack tick 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 yeah it's basically an app where you can um you know, set your tasks and stuff so you don't forget. Uh, you can set reminders. You can make lists for like different categories in your life. Like, what we can do this? Wow. Um. So basically, I did lifestyle, school, and YouTube. So lifestyle is more like um, like get the groceries and stuff like that. School is more like you know different projects and assignments that you do. Um. YouTube's for like um email someone back or reply to comments or something like that. Um. You can like type in the random stuff and then you know remind yourself or you you can have like no reminder and just like look here. It's really cool. Uh, weather timeline, I renamed it as well to weather. It's really cool. Um, by the way, weather is actually paid, weather timeline. And basically what it does is it shows the weather, but it's one of the best weather apps ever. I've never seen a better one. Um, it looks like, aesthetically it looks good and it's correct information obviously. And you can add different, you know, sites and stuff. And by the way, oh, by the way this is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit in case you guys think I'm like from Canada and I live with polar bears. But here you can like press on a certain day. You can see like air pressure, um, like chance of rain and stuff like that. And you can also show the graphs, which is the coolest part. I love this. Um, there's also a Android Wear um, watch face. So you guys can see that as well. It's really cool. Um, here, LifeX is basically for my light bulb right there. I can just change it. You obviously need the LifeX bulb, but uh, I have it. So it's really simple. As long as you um, have Wi Fi, um, you can connect with this app and so basically if you're like away and you forgot to turn off your lights you can check like right here just like turn them off just in case you don't want to waste the energy you know green day stuff like that Ooh, that sounds really cool okay so play store here is the play store so it's like the app store for apple stuff like that um studio is basically the youtube studio so you get to reply to comments and stuff like that oh you guys were about to see my earning earnings okay um, basically, I just reply to comments and stuff like that. Um, I reply to almost all of them. I changed my logo, by the way. You can, you guys can see that, right? That S right there. Um, yeah. Tell me what you think. Um, loving the new banner. How long left until SV Spotlight? And what I would do is like, um, new episode on July first. Um, yeah. So make sure to answer that, by the way. Um. Lol, my dude, my banner is SpongeBob. It says AGP. You made me mad. Okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, next thing here is Google folder. So I have a bunch of Google stuff. So um, Google Chromecast, um, Google Cast basically for like Google Chromecast. Um, everything else you probably know. School here, calculator, Quizlet, basically like flashcards and like quizzing yourself for school. Desmos basically a graphing calculator seesaw it's like a portfolio thingy for your you know your class grammarly grammar translate google translate generally stuff prezi basically the remote um to control from your phone your presentation if you go, if you don't know what prezi is basically like a, power, a powerpoint but better um health push-ups pro i use that for push-ups fit google fit um run task for running you know track my distance my fitness pal to track my calories um that's really important to me photo gallery you know simple um layout 
our layout is um now by instagram where you can like make collages and stuff um i like it because it's simple it's made by instagram so it's like why not have it right lightroom um made by adobe it's really cool um i like it most like probably my favorite one because i get just like more advanced stuff that like vosco cam doesn't allow me to do um snapseed really cool as well um it's made by google so i trust it and it's very very simple very cool and clean um vosco um you know what it is it's photo editing um wmu is i believe wireless mobile something um has to do with like an icon cameras and stuff so basically i can transfer um from my camera over there um to my phone directly like without wi-fi here oh by the way this is the weather timeline widget um yeah there's a bunch of them here's the google now widget and here's the camera app google calendar clock clutch points for you know nba stuff um, it's done, but here, like, if I go back to when Curry got destroyed by LeBron James here, uh, let's see Curry, where is it, 17 points on, what's it, 17 points on, 6 for 19 shooting, nice, nice. Um, you can see it's really cool, it's very simple, I love it, I love the layout, Netflix, you know what Netflix is, if you're not, you're, like, in Born in, like, the Raw, in, like, let's see, or, um, Poseidon. Okay, music here, I use, Shaz oh, this is getting pretty, pretty, pretty long, it's at, we're, at, we're at 6 minutes. Um, Shazam here basically it helps you detect songs so if you don't know a certain song you can press the shazam button and then basically what it does is it detects this detects the song and you get to know what it is um play music is um it's a music player as well as a streaming service um it's i can't uninstall it i don't use it soundcloud i use that as well because um there's a lot of artists on there that are very good you can check it out they're like very under uh, underrated um, purchases basically anything involving with money so either purchase purchasing stuff or banking or something like that so PayPal you know what PayPal is um, online you know stuff um, Amazon to buy stuff eBay to buy stuff Amazon I use a lot more now than eBay I just like trust e Amazon a lot better a lot more TD Bank is my uh, bank so yeah games here so stack I used to play stack it's just like stacking blocks 10 10 is basically a Tetris and every time you make a line you it breaks that and stuff like that at almost at a mass i believe that's something with science i don't know what it is dual it's a two-player game you don't require wi-fi um td battles basically um balloon star defense battles thingy oh, it's really cool you have monkeys and they pop balloons um is that type it's basically you um there's like these these words coming towards you and you have to type those words to break them so they don't destroy you bouncy bouncy something um basically what it does what the game is you basically um try to avoid obstacles so like spikes so you have to tap every time there's a spike yeah i, I believe it's like the impossible game or something like that something something similar to that color switch everyone knows that um basically you try to like not hit something okay uh, rope i don't know loop i don't know connect four you know get four in a row two or four eight basically like match numbers and stuff it's really fun actually Quiz Up is a trivia game online. It's really cool. It's probably one of my favorite games I've ever played in my life. Bouncy Basketball, basically a two player or one player um, basketball game where you can actually like, you only have one button and you have to like consistently tap. It's really hard. Uh, wallpaper here, I use backdrops as well as pixels. But for this one, I got one from um, Facets Online um, uh, by Justin Maller. Like great work, great work. Um, two of these apps are probably like really good. Like they're, they're fantastic. Like, I especially like backdrops because they're like designed specifically for a phone like there's actually like the employees there actually make them for phones like it's it's not some one some random wallpaper from like google like it's, it's real um other here a bunch of apps by um here so like android wear um basically i can like change watch faces watch faces and i need it to you know to connect to my phone um, I don't use it anymore because my Moto 360 smartwatch broke oh, like twice. <laughs> not my fault. Um, clean Master. I'm not sure if it even works, but I just use it um, to clean like st like store like like if I have like less memory and, like it's lagging. I use it. Um, Dropbox for like storing videos and stuff and like work. Fiverr. I haven't used it yet, but basically you can buy stuff for like five dollars there. And also sell stuff for five dollars. Um, nothing more than that. That's why it's called Five uber i don't use it um i really don't think i'll ever use it 
you know. Okay, time play for like my movie theater of uh, Cineplex. So basically, um, there's like trivia in, like at the beginning of the movie or before the movie, and you get prizes and stuff. Uh, play games. I kind of install that. It's like Game Center on um, on iPhones. AZ screen recorder is my screen recorder I'm using right now. Oh, it's really cool. I made a video on it. Uh, tile basically. Uh, these little you have to buy these like tiles like an actual like square thingy and basically you can put it like anywhere like in your wallet or anything and it'll track that place in that location down it's really cool showbox basically another like netflix but it's free movies like actual movies people actually watch unlike like you know netflix no one watches movies on netflix it's all tv shows um there's a bunch of them um i f t t t if not now then later i believe if not now then whatever uh so basically what this does is it's probably the best app like invented in like history of life so basically my life x bald's right there right and every day at like what is it at like what is it 11 03 it turns off every day yeah every day it turns off and you can you know add different recipes and stuff so maybe like when you walk home it welcomes you with a notification or if you leave work it unmutes your phone it's really cool um very useful next app i have here is bleacher report um best news app ever for sports at least if you guys watch sports miracast i use that for my projector so to re like reflect my screen onto the projector fx and file manager i use that sometimes um, I used to use it at least. I don't use it now. I don't know why Shazam's in here as well. Now, why did I do that? Here. Um, next thing is SeatGeek. So, basically, SeatGeek is um, an app where you can, like, find the cheapest tickets for, like, events. It doesn't even have to be, like, sports events. It can be music, concerts, festivals, stuff like that. Fabulous. Here, this is something that I really like. Um, basically, um, there's, like, rituals and stuff. So, so, basically, you can set, like, what to do that day. And... It just keeps you on track and it's really good for productivity, so I like it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. That's the end of it. Um, there's actually three uh, things I forgot to mention in this video. I use Spotify for listening to music. I use Inbox for my email because there's like um, auto responses where they give you three suggestions for what the response should be. I also use the cal Today Calendar widget that MKBHD uses. Uh, I'll leave that in the description. It is paid. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If it did, how about hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.